sometimes a plaintiff's injury has multiple contributing causes. In the case of Corey v. Havner, the court examined liability when there are two separate defendants, but it's unclear who caused what damage. In 1902, Henry Corey was slowly driving a wagon down a main street in Massachusetts. Corey was deaf and had to use an ear trumpet to hear. Ludd Havner and A.L. Adams were each riding motor tricycles with gas engines down the same street. Both engines were making loud noises and emitting steam and smoke that created a cloud around Havner and Adams. Havner and Adams came up on each side of Corey's wagon and passed Corey at a high speed. Corey's horse was spooked by Havner and Adams, but Corey was able to regain control. Then, when Corey continued down the street and went between the two tricycles to overtake them, Corey's horse shied and Corey lost control. His wagon wheel collided with another wagon going the same direction, and Corey and his wagon were injured. Corey sued both Havner and Adams, and the cases were tried together. Corey alleged that both Havner and Adams were negligently operating their motor tricycles at illegal and dangerous speeds. Corey and his witnesses were asked on cross-examination if any of them could tell which vehicle scared Corey's horse, but none of them could. Havner and Adams requested the judge give the jury two specific instructions. The first was that Havner and Adams were on two separate vehicles independent of each other, and that Corey had to show which defendant was to blame, if either, and that Corey couldn't recover if that couldn't be clearly shown. Second, because there were two defendants and two separate suits for the same injury, if the jury found for Corey, the jury couldn't assess full damages against both Havner and Adams because that would result in double damages. The Superior Court judge refused to give the jury either instruction. The jury found for Corey in both cases and determined the damages in each case to be $700. Havner and Adams alleged exceptions. 